I love chatting with Dan here and you know we were just talking about you know with these changes in the weather and everything else um, the sun's setting earlier yep. Uh, temperatures are going down a lot faster as you get into the evening and you had some good reminders for people yeah. headed out there. I mean, your, your hiking is totally different. You definitely need that headlamp now because if you get your timing wrong, get started a little late, you're going to be coming out in full dark. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, when it's dark, it's dark. It is dark. And even with cloud coverage, if, if it's a cloudy day, all of a sudden it feels darker much earlier there, too. There are many places, uh, how many fingers do I have up? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and you can't move around in that without a light. So that's one thing. Uh, it gets cold. It's going to be nice. It's going to be 80 degrees in the middle of the day. It was 42 at my house this morning. If you're stuck out there in the night, you need another, another layer. You need a puffy in your pack. I wouldn't go out without one now. And the third thing is leaves start to come down. Leaves cover the trails, mm -hmm. and a deer path or a hole in the trees looks exactly like the trail you're supposed to be on, and it's incredibly easy to get lost. Going downhill, it's incredibly easy to slip and go down and, and uh, probably break something if you do that. So you just it's a little bit more uncertain. You just have to watch it. Uh, Absolutely, the, and your batteries are going to die faster oh, yeah. on your phone when you get when you get cold like that, as well as you don't want to wear out your battery light you know, or your battery no. by using your light. You gotta have all that gear. You have very little power for a light on your cell phone. Yeah, now, if you wanna hear more stories, like the stories <laughs> that you come in and tell me about, uh, you have an event coming up. Oh yeah, we have, uh, it's uh, tomorrow. It's the public, the long title, the Rotary Public Safety Recognition. It's sponsored by the Rotary Clubs of Eagle County and by the Public Safety Council of Eagle County. And it recognizes those first responders uh, who've gone one step beyond. Uh, we try and have it as close to 911 as we can. This is the 18th anniversary of 9-11 when the towers came down. And that's very big in the emergency service community because a lot of our brothers and sisters got eaten by that thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we try not to join them. But every now and then you have to take a risk. Uh, that's the job you're here for. Now it has to be a thought out risk, it has to be a calculator risk, but you have to take it. Um, we try and recognize those first responders in all the agencies. I love that. The so Mountain it's not rescue. just police oh, no. or mountain rescue, Fire, it's and, everything. And on a, 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 a water a water rescue, every agency will be there. Fire will be there, law enforcement will be there, mountain rescue will be there, ambulance district will be there. So everybody works as a team here. We uh, uh, have been able to do that because we're so small. Yet in the county there are 1,200 emergency service radios that are out there. And I yeah. can still get my tickets for this, correct? You can still get a ticket for this. It's, uh, I don't know if there are any tables available, but single tickets for $45 available. Uh, Joe's name was up on the screen with his uh, phone number, and we'd love to have you join us. And uh, it, uh, we look forward to this every year. It's something we love to do. Come support uh, all of our first responders at an evening like this, and just imagine all of those great stories that you can get from this, and hopefully a lot of happy endings from those stories as well. We're gonna check in with our local weather next.